Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Trails in the Sky. Um, in the last part, we uh, saw the, the play, which was magnificent, and we saw a glimpse of the silver-haired man. We don't know who that is, but we're heading back to the, uh, back to Minoria to talk with the, uh, talk with the kids. God damn it. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Yes. Thank you so much for the last few days. No problem. It's been fun. Take care, and say hi to the Matron Teresa and the, 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 the kids for us. Don't worry, I will. Hey, you three. Huh? You're from Minoria, aren't you? You guys are bracers, right? We got big trouble. What kind of big trouble? <coughs> Hang on a sec. I need to catch my breath. Whew. Whew. Someone attacked Matron Teresa and the kids near Minoria. We'll see what now? No. Hey, are you alright? Keep her cool. This is no time to go fainting on us. I'm sorry. Please, tell us whatever you can. Oh, okay. They were apparently assaulted by some strange group on the way back from the campus festival. Those kids are okay, but Mage and Teresa and that bracer lady got knocked out. You mean Karna? No way! They must have been highly trained. They would have contacted the guild, but communications are down at the inn. I didn't have much choice other than to run all the way here. I see. Well, thank you for your help. If you can manage it, would you go on to Rwanda for us? We've got to hurry to Minoria. Okay, will do. Let's get going. Okay. Alright. A new crisis. Fantastic. It had to happen after that one- Oh, why? Why are you here? Fine, fine. I shall deal with you promptly. That was a long fight, but it was worth it. Definitely worth it. Exterminated second monster on Gull Seaside Way, excellent. Now, onwards. Deal with the crisis. Hello? The kids were mugged? What the hell? When does it stop? How y'all doing? Who are, where are you? There we go. No, oh, Miss Chloe. Everyone. Ah! It was so scary. Thank goodness you're all still safe. Pardon me, but what about the others? How is Major and Teresa? Don't worry, they're not hurt. They haven't woken up though, which has me a little worried. I thought she was a kid. God, kill me. If I may, then I'd like to see them. No doubt about it. Someone used sleeping powder. Sleeping powder? Yes, there's still a faint hint of it in the air. It's probably the kind without side effects, so there's no real need for concern. Hmm. Hey, Clem, can you tell us about what happened? I'll tell you. We were walking along the coast road with the bracer lady, and these strange guys in masks showed up out of nowhere. And that bracer lady fought them for a while. But they surrounded her. She fought him to save us and Mage and Teresa. That's why... There, there. It must have been so scary. They... They took an envelope from the Matron. I wanted really bad to get it back. Mr. Joshua, I couldn't help her. Don't think that way, Clem. I know that Matron Teresa would just be happy that all of you are safe. That's why you mustn't blame yourself. But I... I don't believe this! Who would do such a thing? Whoever it is, must certainly be skilled at hiding his or her presence. After all, the bracer wasn't alerted, and Matron Teresa is unconscious. Chloe. I get the feeling that this was very deliberate. I'd say that the criminals were probably targeting the donations Ma Matron Teresa had on her. If we find the money, we'll find the culprit. Yes, you're probably right. You seem a little calmer than earlier. Yes, in order to help the Matron and the kids, I must compose myself. Regardless, we must find who did this as soon as possible. She's right, you know. Ah! Agate! I'd heard what was going on at the guild. Looks like you've gotten yourself wrapped up in one hell of a mess. 
Hey, don't make light of this situation. Karna got hurt too. I know that, so quit your yapping. Karna's no amateur either. It takes someone pretty skilled to beat her. How about you give me a quick rundown of what, what's been going on here? Okay. Joshua and Estelle told Gate the whole story about the donations for the orphanage. Huh. Alright then. There's definitely something weird going on. Weird how? Well, here's the thing. You know that Raven gang that was hanging out at the warehouse? They're all gone now. The warehouse is empty. Then, they must be the ones who assaulted Matron Teresa. I'm not so sure about that. I really doubt they'd have what it takes to get the upper hand on Karna. Yeah, that's true. They talk a big game, but I don't think they could back it up. Yeah, give them a single hard look and they shot right up. However, today there's suddenly nowhere to be found. Coupled out with today's little incident, and what do you get? Like I said, something weird is going on. Even if they're not directly responsible for the fire, I do feel like they're involved somehow. Yeah, but this ain't the time to go checking that out. Come on, Greenhorns, let's go. What are you talking about? Where are we going? You're slowing the head or something? Obviously, we're going to the seaside path where the crime happened. How those idiots did it doesn't matter right now. We gotta focus on finding some clues as to where they are. Ah, true. Understood. We'll help. Wow, how'd it get to be so late? Huh, <laughs> this is no good. How are we supposed to search for it in the dark? Hey, what was that sound? I'm sure Sieg got a, got a glimpse of uh, these, these attackers, right? Oh, Sieg, where have you been? What the hell? That's Sieg. He's Chloe's... Gerf <laughs> God. Gear Falcon companion. Ugh, as long as he's friendly. Understood. Thank you, Sieg. And now I've seen everything. So, Missy, what did your friend there tell you? The whereabouts of the ruffians who assaulted Teresa, evidently. It seems that he saw the attack. Ha ha ha, that's a good one. Nice going, Sieg. Yes, most impressive. Now wait one damn minute. You mean to tell me you actually believe that little bull? We've seen him communicate several times. Hey, if you don't believe us, you don't have to come along. Come on, guys. Alright. Uh... Wait up, you punks! Does it, it does seem like it's homing in on something, but... Come on, are we really following that thing? This is a, your idea of a joke, it's not funny. It's not a joke. The matron and the children are like family to me. Huh. <laughs> Fine, then. I thought you were yanking my chain, but I guess I'll tag along. Jeez, why don't you say what you really think? All that aside, we need to get going after Sieg. Agate has joined the party. Let's check up on this boy. Okay, he's a tank. He's not a he's not a spellcaster. He's a tank for sure. Uh, he's got a broad edge. He's got a big big sword. Good. 152 strength. So he hits hard and he takes a lot of damage. Good. Fantastic. Uh, can I see what his moves do? N I've forgotten how to navigate this menu. Alright, he has fire, water, and, uh, his... Okay. So he has three paths for his orbments. Hmm... Should I give him this? Defense. He's gonna need defense. He's gonna need uh, defense and attack, definitely. Okay. Can I give him better? Yes, I can. Well, there you go, buddy. Have some of that, and have some of, uh, some of this, I think. Oopsie. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Level 24, jeez, alright. He's not gonna stay with me, is he? 
Okay, awesome. This is a spooky path. Oh. The lighthouse. Isn't that the way to the lighthouse? Hmm. Let's go and check it out. Just as I thought. The Varen Lighthouse. It belongs to the city of Rouen. If I remember right, there's a man who lives here all alone. This appears to be the place. I'm almost positive that the ones who attacked Mage and Teresa and the children are here in the building. Which means that there is a high chance the perpetrators have taken over the lighthouse. And from the looks of it, that seems to be the only entrance. I guess that's all there is left to do is check it out for ourselves. Yes. Now hold on there a minute, girl. I want to see the truth with my own eyes. What the hell are you talking about? I want to know why someone would do such a horrible thing like that. So please, take me with you. I can see where you're coming from, but... Oh, come on, don't act all stingy now. The only reason we knew about this place to begin with was because of Chloe. And I can guarantee she can handle herself. So at least, you don't have to worry about her getting in the way. Estelle, Joshua... Fine, have your way. But I hope you remember that these guys are the ones who put Karna out of commission. Make sure you don't let down your guard. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I guess it's decided then. Alright, let's hurry and check the place out. These guys again? Aren't they the ones from before? I swear if I wasn't looking at them with my own eyes right now, I'd never believe it. Hey, what the hell are you all doing here? The Raven gang members' eyes are blank and emotionless. Hey! Agate, look out! Where are they getting the strength from? Dean, you son of a... This is just perfect. Now I don't know what kind of drugs you're smoking. But if I have to beat some sense back into you, I will. Fence down. Okay, what do we got? Hmm, okay, their turns are later. No elemental weaknesses. Wow, okay. Guess I'll just hit him with everything I got then. Cloak and dagger. Ooh, nice! Coke and Dagger worked out in my favor. Alright. Estelle is the one that needs healing right now, so... Yes, okay. Then again. No, wait, hang on. Let's do this. And then I can cure Estelle with, uh... With Chloe. Not cure, you know, but... Yeah. Okay. Get some health back, girly. Alright, Agate, you're, are you paralyzed? Yeah, you're... Okay. Great. Okay. This is fine. Hmm. 
Damn it. He's got a crit now. Good. Good thing he went for Gate, who was the tank. Uh, oh god, now I. Mm, Alright, okay. You cast that after. Damn it! This fight is not working out well for me. Oh, he's. Damn it! God! These status effects last a very short time, shorter than I expect, so I can't go to Chloe, tell her to cure it, and then, by the time she's cast a spell, it's already cured. What do you got? We'll see what this does. Not bad. And then her status effect will go away shortly after. Only you are left. Cloak and Dagger. 20% is better than nothing. Oh well. And Bolt- Oh, you- Okay, let's do this. I'm very disorganized here. Let's out a forceful yell. Gain CP, but loses HP. What's beat down? Okay, alright. When's your next turn? No, it's all the way over there. They might have a chance to, like, revive themselves. Okay, that's fine. Damn it! Looks like I'm gonna have to, uh, ah! Fine. Let's see how much damage this does. Not bad. Now can Estelle finish him off? 138 should be able to. Good. No revivals. You have no CP left. And, uh, okay, Agate needs heals. Let's go with this for now. God, I'm so spread out. This sucks. Actually, I can just do this. I think this would be better. Go for a Gate, please. Thank you. Barely do any damage. That's good. Finish this loser off. Probably wasn't the best idea, but you know. Good. Awesome. One. Ooh, I gotta. I gotta opens up some slots. I. I imagine. I can't believe it. These guys are a hundred times stronger than they when when we dealt with them at the warehouse. They appear to be acting rather strange. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Looks like they're still being controlled by someone. Controlled? Yeah, I agree. 
I'd say it's some sort of special hypnotic induction, using a combination of drugs and suggestion. This allows the person controlling them to draw out their maximum physical potential. Can someone really do that? Of course, but they need to be pretty skilled to even attempt such a thing. And I can only think of one group that could pull off something like this. You have an idea who might be responsible? Yeah, possibly. But there's no time to talk about it now. Let's head upstairs. The real perpetrator should be up there. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna leave the the the, uh, the other fights to uh, the next episode because my voice is dying at the moment. There's a lot to read in this in this game, and maybe that's why I became disenchanted with it because it destroys my voice. Thank you very much for watching. That was Trails in the Sky. It's available on Steam and the PSP. It's uh, about twenty dollars. Pick it up if you can because it's a magnificent game. Don't let my pessimism and uh, inability to play the game deter you from purchasing it because it is a rather fantastic game. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Toodaloo.